everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Again, my name is Kathy, and on this channel, I talk about diamond painting, journaling. I also talk about a lot of unboxing, quick uh, reviews, first impressions, and from time to time, I do talk about how to become a better blogger because I have been one for 15 years now. Um, so I know a little bit here and there, and I would like to share some tips and tricks to fellow bloggers or those who just might, you know, be wanting to get in the game. If that is your cup of tea, I hope that you could um, lend some support by subscribing or liking the videos that you see on this channel because that will actually help recommend it to other people. I'm so sorry if I'm switching that way. It's because my cat is trying to jump in front of the phone while we are recording because she's a little bit extra like that. If you've been um, to other videos on this channel, you would have seen my black cat. Um, her name is Yang and she's kind of a star or she thinks that she is. Anyway, uh, for today's video, we will be discussing uh, five things that you may recycle, reuse, or declutter from your diamond painting stash. Yes, today's video is still about diamond painting because there has been a lot of requests for it. And so we just want to give, you know, what is requested. And one of the things that I've noticed in my diamond painting community is that um, a lot of them say, I have so much of this and I don't know what to do. So we will be going um, to, we will be giving out tips on what you can do with the many, many leftovers from your diamond painting stash right after this. back again my name is Kathy um, I hope that you are still here and that you have already subscribed to this channel if you like this video at the end of the video I hope you can give it a thumbs up leave a comment because it's actually a really really great boost or help to small youtubers like myself um, when you like a video it actually um, adds to the possibility that it gets recommended to someone else so your simple like means a lot to youtubers like myself okay so let's go ahead and get started if you are into diamond painting you would know that the more that you order the more that you end up with drill pens green trays or the white trays or the pink wax or leftover beads and it just accumulates and you know sometimes you feel like you're about to drown because whether you admit it or not a lot of you end up hoarding diamond painting kits so what can you do with it so first let's discuss the drill pens for the drill pens a lot of us don't actually end up using the pink ones that come with the diamond painting kit um but what we can do is if we have a lot of it already we can actually go ahead and put it all together and donate it to say a public school um to a center where they teach arts and crafts to the kids this would be such a big help to the kids there okay because the drill pen can be used for other art projects okay so that is one really good way to reuse and recycle them don't just throw it away because it's just gonna end up in the landfill somewhere and it is made of plastic which means that it will take many 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 years for it to um, actually just be gone or it's just gonna be there forever so might as well just you know reuse it and recycle it okay next the pink wax now the pink wax a lot of the diamond painters don't actually like it so much so they end up not using it they would use the blue tack or the green ones because they say that it sticks a lot more so the pink wax would just accumulate dust and it would end up being thrown away now what can you do with it you can actually use it to put together like a scrapbook so when you print your photos you have your polaroids that's what you can use to stick it um, from photo to paper or like small projects that kids can make if you have kids they can use that to create figures to create numbers to learn more about textures there are so many things that you can use with the pink wax that it is endless the possibilities are endless and what I can do is I can link down in the description box um, some websites that can teach you how to better make use of the pink wax if that is not to your liking okay 
So again, the theme here is to reuse, recycle, or declutter and donate it somewhere will be most useful, okay? Now, the next one is the trays. We have so many green trays because every single kit or almost every single kit comes with it. So what you can do is you can also use it for arts and crafts projects. You can use it as a container for something else. You can use it as a decoration. There are endless possibilities. The good thing about crafting, which is what we do, is that there are so many, many different ways that we can reuse, recycle, and abuse everything that we currently have. For the green trays, you can actually use it as a picture frame, right? Because the size is actually um, sort of like a 2x2. Two two. So you can print photos, you can color it, anything else that you would like. You can make it pink, green, purple, white. Um, you can just color it, paint over it, and then turn it into a picture frame. And that would make for a very, very unique frame that you can put on your wall. Or again, you can donate it to an art center or to a school, a public school that needs those materials for their um, community or for the students. So again, instead of just, you know, having it laying around, stacking up, taking up space, just, you know, leaving you feeling cluttered and all, you can put it to good use, okay? Now the last one, so this is actually just for, so the last one is the beads. Now I've seen a lot of people do a lot of fantastic things with the beads and I super duper admire them. Like I saw one turn it into a keychain. I saw one where a um, cell phone case was decorated with beads. The one that I really really like is when they get an empty glass jar and they fill it with colorful beads and they put roses, flowers, or leaves. And it just looks really, really nice. So that's one thing that you can do with your leftover beads. The other is, this one I would strongly suggest is to really, you know, um, donate it to high schools or elementary students, not the, not the center for little kids, okay? Because these are beads. They can choke on it. So um, donate it to, say, public schools, elementary level or high school. And they can definitely use this for their arts and crafts. And... It's very nice because they can make so many things with the beads. They can use it to decorate um, vases, their shirts, their cell phone cases, their backpacks, their keychains. It is endless. Like I can even imagine someone creating uh, a gown out of the beads. Wouldn't that be amazing? Like you can just get a plain, um, plain set of clothes and then just decorate it with beads or like a t-shirt and you know design it with beads that would make it very very unique and it would put the beads to good use now of course i guess i would do just like a one-time wearing thing because if you wash it then goodbye or you can use primero to seal it right um so i'm not this is not sponsored by primero okay but anyone who's watched my videos would know that i use primero a lot to seal my diamond painting so i'm thinking maybe we can also use primero to seal it when we use it on other things right and that's just an idea okay so again those are the four things that you can declutter reuse recycle from your diamond painting stash so again one your drill pen two the pink wax three the green trays and four the leftover beads because we are you know um doing our best to be more sustainable to be more friendly to Mother Earth here on this channel. I know that I still have a long, long way to go. But um, as they say, every little bit helps. So if, you know, there's one of you who would end up doing the ideas that I've shared, then well and good, the, the video has a purpose already, okay? And it's not just me yakking my head up here. So I hope again that this video has helped someone. Um, come up with an idea of what to do with their leftover stash from their diamond painting kits. Um, and I hope that you'll be able to find a good school, a good community center, or a good daycare center that will benefit greatly from your leftover kits. Again, one man's treasure. A uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So um, let's do what we can to save the earth. And let's do what we can to make someone's life better by donating the things that has no purpose or no use to us 
and just you know spreading a little bit of kindness along the way okay so um if you like this video i hope that you give it a thumbs up sign um, i hope that you leave a comment let me know what you think i would truly truly appreciate um your thoughts and i make it a point now <laughs> To reply to every comment that I receive. Okay, so again, my name is Kathy. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!